chilly day today, but at times we saw some sunshine. Now, it didn't do much for our temperatures, but you can see evidence of the sun here in Punxsutawney, Jefferson County. Phil's home, of course, at the Weather Discovery Center. You can see, watch the sun march across the horizon there just as it's getting ready to set in a little over an hour. And temperatures, well, they didn't seem to notice the sunshine. Well below normal all around the region. We should be in the low 60s. We're in the 40s and low 50s. And right now, at this moment, Cabot, Butler County is in the low 40s. On your way down, Cabot, probably into the mid-30s overnight tonight. Right now, Pittsburgh International sitting on, well, no, these are highs and lows. Let's do the almanac first. 52 degrees the high. You can see that 11 degrees below the norm of 63, and we were 9 below on the low end. So you do the math and divide by 2, and you end up with a 10-degree deficit below those averages of 63 and 43. And just as a sidebar, I'm a Custer fan and a little bighorn. This record low was set the year that General Custer died at the Little Bighorn, 1876. That's one of the oldest records in the book, and you can see why. 25 degrees on a morning like this in October, that would get your attention. That's, that record has stood for well over 100 years. Here we are with a look at our current temperature, more than double that record low at 51. Winds out of the southwest at 11 miles an hour. And the next six hours will take us down into the low 40s as we move out of the low 50s into the low 40s and stay there. Actually, we may dip to 40 degrees or even 39 at Pittsburgh International, but not any lower than that. And most of the region will stay, well, all of us will stay above the freezing mark, and I don't think many of us will see much frost, if any at all. We'll have cloud cover out there, we won't have a clear sky, so that will help to hold down the chance, the probabilities of frost. Here's what's going on at the surface on Futurecast. You can see the clouds starting to break up and they'll eventually clear out as we head into early morning. But by then the sun's coming up and it's too late to get any frost. But we do have a chance, if you'll notice, to our far northwest of a few snowflakes flying. No accumulation and no severe weather either. That's the good news about this cool weather that we've got. It's fairly stable and quiet and nothing in the way of severe weather for the next 300, or excuse me, <laughs> it would be nice if it was 300 days, three days for hundreds of miles in all directions. All right, forecast, 40 degrees, partly cloudy tonight. And tomorrow, our temperature not going much of anywhere, 50, maybe only 49 in parts of the area with showers to the north. And then, as we head into Thursday, we cool off even more, but do dry out before rain returns late in the day. Friday hangs over on into Saturday. I don't think the day will be a washout, but there will be spotty showers around, so keep your umbrella handy. The temp comes up a little bit, though, into the mid-50s, but it doesn't stay there. Back in the 40s and low 50s by Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Ken?